he finished school for Cecilia Hebrew University for Delta State, Ugele. Waiting come push and reach there. I go read that for you now as I see the story on social media. Welcome to the moment of truth. This is actually trending now on social media. It happens in um, in Delta states, um, Agbaroto to be precise. This man, he calls himself pastor, is a graduate, is a university graduate, he read about chemistry. Because he could not secure a job or he could not wait for God to assist him, this is what he did to himself. And to his generation. Stay tuned and hear from Auntie Adoni. Stop attacking Yahoo boys. The boys are hustling, but in the wrong way. They can come to the church and be shown the right way. God can give miracle money and divine favor. Proper prayer makes all things possible according to the will of God. Let's talk, let's tell these men and ladies the truth. There is a miracle alert. God can use someone you don't know to off to favor you. I can pray for you or connect you to your expectation by God's leading. I am sent by God to bless the um, nation and the world at large. The assignment of Prophet T.B. Joshua is upon me. He is a true servant of God. I have many things to teach us. We shall learn them gradually so as to bring glory back to the Law back to the world at large and create peace everywhere. No man is bad. It is actually what um, possesses them that is the enemy. Sit. You just heard from Auntie Aduni. He's actually uh, promoting TB Joshua even in his death. And he's advised uh, the Yahoo boys to come to his shrine that he calls a church. And uh, see what he's saying to them. When I say to you that it's not everyone that call themselves pastor, you should give your head to, or you bow your head to, or you put yourself under them. Google them first. Google them. Do a search on them. So this young man now, because he could not secure a job, see what he's doing. His, his father is an abalist. So he went to his father's shrine and destroyed his father's uh, idols and everything. The same cutlass that he used to destroy his father's idol and everything is the same cutlass that he used for the young lady, 15 years old girl that he first met on the road, butchered the girl, cut the girl into pieces. That is not enough. He went in to fetch the girl's grandmother. I did the same thing to the guest grandmother. Look at him there. The village people ran, ran, they, they rally around him. They tie him and they, they started beating him. They want to pour petrol on him and burn him. The police came to his rescue and all that. He's now in the police custody. So this is the container that has been talking to people all this while. Because there were people in his church. Those people in this church, let's hear from Apostle Teki who they have. Because I don't want to be the only one that will be talking to you guys. Let's hear from Apostle Teki. At least he has a church, he's a pastor, you recognize him as a pastor. Let's hear from him. We have a group of Christians who are not interested in Christ. All they want is miracle. I want to get married. I want to get a job. That's why you go to church. You'll be destroyed. We don't go to church because of our need. We go to church because we, are, we, we need to live in God. Live in Him. We don't go because we want to get married. If you do that, the Bible says you are a wicked generation. And the, the demon of deliverance will capture you. Check those churches where they do demons exchange. Many of them are not born again. They have only recited the sinner's prayer. Reciting the sinner's prayer does not mean you are born again, my friend. They are not saved. That's why they call wizards, prophets. They call winches, prophetess. Because a child of God, the Bible says, my sheep know my voice. They hear my voice. The voice of a stranger, they will not follow. So if you're a child of God, following a false prophet, you don't belong to Jesus. You just heard it from Apostle Takim, what I've been telling you, all this why. If you go to my playlist, listen to all my messages, it has always been the same. 
what he just said now in this one minute uh, video i've been telling you all this one these men are fake there's no god in them there's no god in them stop chasing no ch stop chasing after miracles they are all liars they are all thieves they are businessmen they belong to other gods you could see their lifestyle their way of life they are liars they, they manipulate they steal they destroy you know they fake miracles they some of them even show you their idols they are just it's it just about money and Ashimolo is not preaching anymore now he's now into real estate so and this one that is uh, that, that is um what's what's his name now uh john anosike that's raising money here and there is in error, is preaching error here and there, is quick to curse people. The same thing with Jeremiah. That one is killing people here and there, deceiving people here and there, doing all sorts of things that is not biblical. And people are still following them. You are following them to hellfire fire because there's no Christ there. Suleiman is doing all sorts of things. People are still following him. With all the errors, with all the awareness, we've been raising. People are still following there. Look at this one, Makadiwa, that is in error. Oyakilome, in error. Bushiri, in error. This is on the run. Mountain of destruction. Depressed man, you still following them. You are not in Christ. If you like, come here and write rubbish under my uh, comment section. I will tell you the truth. But one day, God will remove the scale on your face, on your eyes. And you will, see, you will see what we are saying to you. But don't get to the gate of heaven, no. Before you know the truth, oh. There will be no excuse there, oh. I don't know we will not be accepted, though. Because my, my videos will, be, will play for all of you. They will play my video, yes. She's one of them that warned you. So there will be no excuse. So now is the time to give your life to the real Christ. The Christ, Jesus, they are calling Nigeria. It's not the real Jesus, so it's the Jesus of their own belly, oh, their own liar. So I see you on my next video. Bye for now.